Hey guys, before we jump into the video, make sure you go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com. You'll be able to subscribe and get 10% off all of our playbooks. You have playbooks here, drill packs, videos, even testimonials from other coaches just like you. Whether it's an all-in-one playbook you're looking for, age-based, or even our bundles, it can be found right here. So again, go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com and you'll get everything you need to build your confidence as a coach. Now let's dive into this week's video. Hi everyone, this is Coach D and today I'm gonna to walk you through how to coach a brand new player, give them the basics, the fundamentals, but let me just make something very clear before we get started. I have my kids out here in this video and you could have a plan all day long and I have a fourth and a fifth grader, but boy, once you get out on that field, it goes crazy. So don't take yourself or this too seriously. Otherwise, it just won't work out. When I relaxed and I let go of every single thing that I was trying to get done, then it actually turned out a lot better. And remember, the basics, the, the, the thing that you want to get across is life skills, right? That you're just having fun out there, that you are teaching them about teamwork and patience and, and leadership and all those things. So if they don't get every single principle or they don't do the drill perfect, it's okay. Just have fun and be out there, be a leader in your community and have fun with those kids. That's what I would say. Now let's jump into the video. You'll see what I'm talking about. See ya. Hi everyone, this is Coach D and today I have a awesome surprise for you. I have Noah, which you've seen many times, and my daughter Viviana, you've seen a couple times as well. And today we're gonna teach you the 101 of flag football. How do I teach a brand new player who has never played before? How do I get them up to speed? How do I get them up and going quickly, efficiently? And also, this can be perfect for that new coach coach who's never been on the field, never done any flag football at all. So let's start with some absolute basics. Noah has his flags already fitted. Well, in a second, we're going to get you a nice tutorial on how to fit those flags. So we'll do that in just a second. So go ahead and tuck in real quick. We're going to tuck in. While Noah's tucking in, let's look at our shoe situation. If you look at these shoes, right, a lot of times shoes are gonna be very slippery out on this field. So what I always recommend, Viviana and Noah, is that we get a pair of cleats, right? And what these are, these are football cleats for kids. We like the high tops, but you can go with soccer cleats or even baseball cleats if you really want. But these are some really nice cleats for kids. So I would recommend getting those. Now, Viviana, let's go ahead and tuck in your your jersey as well another thing you see is that Noah is putting on some gloves so what we like to have as wide receivers or even a lot of times to help kids even pull flags sometimes quarterbacks do it you can get these at Walmart you can get these at Target you can get them at it doesn't really matter but having a good set of gloves is very very important now I usually send out a quick email at the beginning of the season giving these recommendations making sure you have your cleats making sure you have your 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 gloves these are two things that over the years I have seen work very, very well. So I would recommend cleats and gloves. I'm going to have Noah go do the agility ladder. Now Noah's played a couple seasons. You good? Now the other one. And what's important is that while you're working with someone who's never played before, or while you are fitting the, the, uh, the flags or whatnot, you wanna have something that the kids can do on their own. Now, whether he's ever played or never played before, the agility ladder is pretty simple. And I'll link a video down below where I give a full detailed description on how the agility ladder works. But even if he's played before, but she never has, or anybody else has never played, but there's one player who has, they can kind of show and lead the way while you're working one-on-one -on -one with another one, okay? Noah, do you remember how we do these? Yeah. yeah. So there's a couple things that you need to have uh, in order to make these work. Guys, what's this? 
tape. Got to have your duct tape. So make sure you have some duct tape. Make sure you have some scissors. And what's this, baby? Uh, a Sharpie. A Sharpie. You're actually going to write your name on this one, okay? So we'll give that to you. But the first thing that we do is we open it up and it looks just like this. And the flags we're going to put to the side, okay? And what I like to do is teach one parent this, and then the other parents can learn and do it themselves while I get practice going. But, Noah, can you hold the tape? Okay. Now, Noah, do you know how to work tape? Yeah. Can you pull out, like, yeah. about this much? Yeah, I can try. Yeah, let's try it out. <clears throat> so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fit these around Viviana's waist, this much? and these will become, yeah, that's a great enough, great amount. <laughs> Here we go. Watch this, come on over. Okay, so we're gonna fit it nice, right around, come this way. Okay, we're gonna fit it right around the waist, and we can go, you know, if that's too loose, no way. That's why we wanna make sure that uh, everything is tucked in, everything is the way that it's going to be in the game. Okay, so we have it just like that. Is that comfortable? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then what's gonna happen, Noah, come on over. <clears throat> Yep, we're gonna actually wrap this around. Okay, you see this right here? So there's a little piece right here. We can take this off and let's show them up here. <clears throat> and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this long piece off. Noah, can you cut this off for me? Dun da da, -da Viviana. <clears throat> oh, oh, right by my fingers. Yep, perfect. Yep, cut that. Great. Now we have this little space right here viviana where's that pin do you think you're going to be able to write your name yeah with the uh with the the glove on yeah i think so too okay we wrap it around and this usually doesn't take as long but for this video <laughs> hey why not um you know we like flag football because we get to spend like all day we do sunday flag football and so we get to spend all day and who else plays flag football no, but who else? Does Sammy play flag football? Oh, uh, yeah. So their cousin, right, my niece plays as well. So we get the whole family together I all day Sunday. Play. Yep, you used to play. That's now why. I have no idea. <laughs> and that's why we're going to do this tutorial today. Put your Viviana there. Okay, she's writing her name a little bit higher. Vivi. I'll just write Great, Vivi. Vivi. That's okay. just in case she loses these. We can put them back together. Boom. There we go. All right. My name is Viviana, but I'll just... Leave. That's all right. But now, come on over. All the way over here. All the way over here. And now she is ready to go. Yep. And what happens is at the very beginning, they're a little bit tight. So you just got to work them a little bit. Make sure also that you have your mouth guards. Um, they should have their mouth guards. Now, Viviana, she has, come on back here, right here. She has braces, so you wanna get the ones that have braces. Uh, otherwise, that's not gonna fit. That's not gonna work for her. Try that on right now. That's not gonna work. Noah's, if you don't cut it right here in the back, then it's gonna go too deep and it'll choke him. Yeah, see, it doesn't fit, so we take that out. So these are little things that you just need to know. Get the one for braces if they have braces. Make sure you're, you're um, and what I, I'll, I'll link another video on there. The guy actually shows you how to cut it and how to um, make it fit their teeth, make it fit their mouth. So we address those little things right up front. If you have questions about something, what I want you to do, because there's usually 10 of us, I want you to wait until I say, all right, do you guys have any questions? Okay, to make sure they come ready, hair up, tucked in, your flags on, all those things so that we avoid any of that during your practice. All right, now let's go into positions. How do we teach positions? And I'm gonna be honest, guys, we just did a video like five minutes ago and it was terrible because it was the wrong way to do it. I had like a notebook and I was trying to do it academically 
and they were like, why don't you just, what did you say? Why don't you, show us. Why don't you just show me how to do it, right? So, okay. And if you have a player who's played before, it's really helpful. So let's look, go over the center quarterback exchange, and that will really help Viviana know both positions. No, you be the center, I'll be the quarterback. Viviana, you watch real quick, and then I'll have you step in as quarterback, okay? Now, I like to have a cadence, so my cadence is ready, go. And because Noah has done this before, he's ready on that center. So Viviana, this is the center. They start the whole thing, okay? And I'm the quarterback. Now, I wanna have my head up, okay? I'm not looking down here. And I wanna have my hand like a, go like this. So here we go. Ready, go. Boom. And then I step back. And what is Noah gonna do? Does the center just stand there? No, he goes and runs his route. Okay, Viviana, why don't you, do you wanna be center or quarterback? Okay, she's gonna try center. Noah, you be quarterback. Vivi, that ball starts on the ground. Yep. <clears throat> See how Noah's gonna keep his head up? All right, give me a little bit of arch. Yeah, so it's like this. Instead of like this, you're gonna go like this. All right, Vivi, that's it, cool. Now, Vivi, you get your hand on the ball. Both hands. Noah, you give me the cadence. Ready, go. Get over there. And boom, she's gone. All right, now let's do that five times each. Right? And they're going to switch back and forth. Now, yep, go. And what I do, go ahead, Evie. Yep. Ready, go. Nice. Yep, and she's quarterback. Noah, what do you do? You go. So they do that. Now, I have several cones here so that you can have everybody doing it at the same time. They pair up and then boom. Guys, is that a better way to do it? Yeah. All right, we can stop. Now let's do a running back. Noah, can you show, <clears throat> you be the quarterback and you show Viviana, how are you gonna put it in my bread basket? Just right here. Nope, you're the quarterback, just hand it right off to me. Ugh. See this? Put your hands like this. Okay, now look, this is actually wrong form. Everybody come up here a little bit so that people can see. This is wrong form. Noah, you're the quarterback. Why is this wrong form? Hold, hold it like a quarterback. You're putting it in my bread basket. Why is this, you're gonna, you're the quarterback and you're putting it in here. Stand right here. Put it in my bread basket. Why is this wrong form? Go. Ah, my elbow is the wrong, Noah blocking the camera they can't see all right so Noah go ahead and be the quarterback one more time what do I need to do switch, elbow. switch my elbow my elbow is always gonna punch Noah right in the face this right needs to be under. okay this needs to be under all right so Vivi you be the quarterback you put it in Noah's bread basket just right here just right here go ahead Noah give me a bread basket go. boom there it is now what we do on this one this one's the bread basket drill come on back Vivi, you're right there. Noah, you're on that side. Now, Noah, when you go, you're gonna be on this side of her, and you're gonna hand off just like this. Vivi, you're gonna, yep, there it is. So my scrunchie always has to be on the back. Yes. Now, what we like to do is half speed first, and then we can go full speed. Let's go half speed. Half speed is like this. Marching? It doesn't have to be marching, but, but like, like this. Kind of yeah, that's full speed. That's so, full. go a little bit slower, just walk. Just walk normal. Ready, go. Boom, all right, now switch. Here we go. Now you're going to do it, same side. Ready, <clears throat> go. Whoop, whoop. And right there, we can coach in the moment. Let's move it up here, do it right here, guys. <clears throat> About right there. All right, Vivi, you try this again. As the, as the quarterback, what you wanna do is you want to put it out just like this. Put both hands on that. Now, Noah, come on in. You want to have it just like that when you put it in there. Okay. Okay? Now, sometimes with this exercise, just so you guys know, it's really hard for them to actually take it out like that. They'll like want to hand it off like this. But let's make sure. Noah, you know how to do this really well. How do I take it out and give it to them like this? All right, good, 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 good. Just like that. Last time, and then we'll move on. Ready? Ready, go. He puts it, boom, right in there. And you saw her elbow was on the right spot. Now, let's talk about wide receiver and quarterback. What is the wide receiver, Noah? The wide receiver is the person who 
catches the ball. Yes. So what we're gonna do is Noah is going to be. Do you want to be the wide receiver or the quarterback? Um, uh, wide receiver. Wide receiver. He always likes the wide receiver. Viviana, you're gonna be quarterback just right now. But to make it even easier, they're both gonna play. Here, let's do it. On our same comb setup, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start about two yards away. Come here. Come over here. Face each other. Face each other. Cool. What you're gonna do is you're going to put up a diamond. No, I'll put up a diamond. Okay, put your hands together just like that. So when you're the wide receiver, I want you to catch with the diamond, just like this. Viviana, what I want you to do is you're, you're throwing him the ball. So I want you to grab the ball at the laces like this. Remember how we've taught you, just like that. And I want you to throw it in his diamond, just right here. No big deal. All right, now Noah's gonna throw it right back to that diamond. Okay. Oh, try it again. They're gonna step back once both of them catch it. So now you have two people who have maybe never played very much before, but they have to catch it to move backwards. Go ahead, throw it to him. Easy toss, great. Easy toss. Oh, all right, baby, get that right in there. It's gonna go right in just like that, okay? Try it again, throw it right in that diamond. Oh, so. Put up your diamond. So what happens, Noah? Come on up here. Oh, I know. When I am trying to catch, this is a great time to, to show them what's up. Noah, what do you, show me the diamond. What do you do when the ball hits it? Yep, your hands become soft and they, yep, they pull. What she was doing is she was, when the ball put it in my, my diamond, she was basically just keeping her hands up and then it was basically falling right out. Yep. She thought, no, as that comes in, open it up. Loose open it. Open it, baby. Loose yeah. Loose you open the diamond up. See, what people usually do is they try to catch like this and it goes right through. But what Noah does, yeah, well, it's that. So Noah opens his hands up a little bit and grabs that ball. Let's see if we can do it this time. We'll show a deep throw in a second. Here's another good point. Noah's played before, so a lot of times when you're working with someone who's never really played before and someone who has, it's got to take a lot of patience. So you might want to have a conversation with the Noahs of the world who've played and have them be a helper instead of like, because oh, this is going to be kind of boring for him. So we'll give him what he wants, the long bomb, in just a second. But right now, let's just do this right here. All right. Come on, baby. Yes, see the difference? Great, step back. Okay, right there. Now throw it. Yep, that's okay. Good, throw it to her. <clears throat> there we go. And then they move back and back and back until they're about like 10 yards as far as they can do it. All right, let's give him a nice one. Noah, go that way. Michelle, ready, go. Oh, a little bit too far. All right, now what's great is now you need to break it up. Now Noah had a great, come on buddy. <coughs> Noah had a great idea for a capture the ball type of, of drill, if you will. So Noah, can you tell us what would you do? Go ahead and take the ball out there. And before you do, uh, tell us how we're gonna play this, this game. We're gonna play it by so, this football goes in the middle of the field okay like all the area you have uh -huh. and one team starts from that opposite side okay opposite Each sides team and split it up evenly okay and make sure not two best players are on a team make sure they're split up equally okay that's good and so the players from the team can go in a group or but they have to the point is of the game to Capture the ball and bring it back to your side. Okay. But if your flag gets pulled before you do that, you have to drop the ball, run back to your base, and wait there for five seconds, and then you can go back out. Okay, so pretty much capture the flag, but with capture the ball. All right, let's show them how to do it. Vivi, are you ready? Are you ready to try this? 
Okay, so what she needs to do, because she's a little bit cold right now, is she needs to start moving a little bit. So we need to move about uh, five, 10 minutes into it. If you haven't warmed up or started to move, you're gonna start seeing this, all right? You're gonna start seeing some ah. So let's get moving. Get their flags, yep. Yeah. Yep. So let's say uh, you want to be the shark real quick? Yeah. You want to be the shark? What happens if they if you pull somebody's flag? Okay, so then I have two sharks yeah. against yeah. everybody else. And then, then I have three, then yeah. four, then if five. It's just us, then if it's just like three people, then whoever gets like say I'm the shark and if I get Noah, then dad wins. Okay. Yeah, last one. Last player standing is where you go, everybody's in a circle, so we're all in a circle, and then we're all in the middle, right? And we're all trying to grab each other's flags, right? And then, boom, you're trying to avoid my flags, I'm trying to no, avoid yours. but the first one to lose <clears throat> both of their flags. Is that If out? you lose one, then you're still, you're still in. in yeah. Okay, you're still in. But if you lose both, what happens? You're out. You're out, and then the last player standing wins. And then there's one other one. Let's say all of us are in a circle. Let's say this is a big circle. We're in a big, big circle. Okay, we're in a big, big circle. And what happens is I say, let's say Noah's in the middle. <clears throat> okay, Noah's in the middle. And then I say, Phoebe, go get his flag. And then you go get, no, and then she comes after you and she tries to get your flag. Boom. Oh, whoa. That was like insane, <laughs> Dad. Right. Our flags are so hard in. I know, because those new flags. That's legit. Okay, here's a little bonus. Here's a little bonus for us. Uh, we don't feel like we got enough of a workout, so we're gonna do a lap uh, around this whole thing. Kids, right? Kids are crazy. Yes, let's go. Come on. Uh oh. Come on, bro. feel what other advice do you have <laughs> how to teach a new kid anything coach if Sean's being dramatic just sit them out oh it's okay to be honest with uh, with with this with the kids and with the parents tell them tell them that you're going to and usually the parents are okay with it yeah right yeah okay anything else Baby, any final thoughts? Like and subscribe! <laughs> All right, everybody, get some this season. This is Coach D along with Noah and Viviana. Oh, man, that was super serious. That's right. Okay, if you like what you see, of course, subscribe. Should they like it? Like and subscribe. Oh, like, subscribe. And hit the bell, whatever that is. Comment down below. Right here on my
You guys know what to do. All right, and share this, of course. And go to Flag Football with Coach D.com. Put your name in there. We'll make sure you get 10% off all those playbooks. We got your back. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Comment down below. Bye. Bye. Bye.